Okay, we have a, reached the appointed hour, and, and we're actually one minute late, which is not unusual anymore. Uh, I want to say welcome to everybody. Good evening, and uh, welcome to all of the, uh, uh, well, to our distinguished uh, recipients, as well as all the friends and family uh, of them. As the mayor of our great city, there are many responsibilities of my job that I really, truly love. And today I get to perform one of my most favorite responsibilities. That's recognizing some beloved members of our community who selfishly give of themselves every day. And that's really the beauty of our city. Volunteerism is really rooted in our DNA. In our diverse community, you can find volunteers of all interest. And it really gets exciting when those interests intersect. Our first guest, or honoree, has a unique gift of weaving together different aspects of nature and putting it together in an art form. The robust na knowledge of nature and the artistic talent, that is a rarity. The ability to weave this knowledge together in the form of an intricate 50 foot by seven foot mural spanning an entire wall, presenting thousands of examples of nature's interconnectedness is unheard of. Most people, if asked, would say, and now that's simply not something one can do in a mural form. Uh, maybe a video would convey this level of information, but not a mural. Well, this rare ability is more akin to finding the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow than it is to the reality that this gift even exists in a single person. Somehow, our recipient found a way to express the very depths of nature with fine lines, intricate detailed illustration, and colors true to the plant, animal, or any part of life she is painting. Estella Ritter, would you please join me up here at the podium? Tonight, I have the honor of presenting Estelle Ritter, the Ritter with the Citizen of the Year Award in the city of Tarth. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Art, as an expression, is a term we hear often, but Estelle strives to move expression even further by using art as a tool to help kids and adults become aware of nature's intricate detail. Estelle wants us to see her mural and wonder. She urges to look deeper, to look closer. She wants us to pause and pay attention to the incredible beauty that surrounds us, even if it's just for a moment. So often in our normal busy days, we forget that in nature there is far more to be seen if only we would pause and pay attention. Estelle instills in the observer a deeper appreciation for that part of nature we often don't take the time or don't yet have the ability to even notice. She is thoroughly dedicated to her work, constantly striving for more information and more connections, thus making us as the observer want to know more also. Her respect for life as a parent, her work conveys a subtle message the interdependence of all life is important and is connected to every one of us, whether we recognize or realize this or not. Estelle even works on the mural art at home. She practices drawing in her sketchbooks, preparing color palettes, and learns about every life form that will in time be in the mural. When at the Nature Center, up to 40 hours a week, I might add, she is working on the mural. And in the process, she is always willing to stop for a little while and share her experience with whomever, and sometimes that is the mayor, uh, wants to share and talk or trade stories with those who are interested in nature or those in the, in the creative process. Estelle, through her art, has provided a great service to the citizens of Torrance. Her work, supporting the Madrona Marsh Preserve and Nature Center, enriches the lives of Torrance residents and attracts many visitors from all over Southern California, especially on weekends, those who come to view her work. We are so very grateful 
to Estelle de Ritter for her contributions and dedications to the Madrona Marsh and to the citizens of Tarns. So therefore, it is my honor to award you the Citizens of the Year Award. Estelle, do you have any words you'd like to say? Yes. Um, this is very unexpected. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating it. And thank you for getting the word out. I'm painting that wall for the little ones, the, the people of tomorrow, the people of the day after, so that they can be more sensitive to the little bit of nature that we have left, and that's within our grasp. And best of all, it's free. <laughs> it's absolutely free, and it is there every day of the week. Please, please come and visit us. Come see what we have to offer. Join our groups, join our bird watching, our Sunday morning, Saturday morning walks for the little ones, for grown ups. We cater for everybody. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, sir. She just reminded me to come see the snakes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Tracy. If, if you've not been to the Madrona Marsh recently and seen this artwork, I encourage you to please stop by there. Uh, when Estelle, uh, for lack of a better word, draws a leaf, you won't know if it's the drawing or the leaf. It is that realistic looking. And if, whether it's the smallest bug or the biggest animal, it, it's just amazing. So thank you, Estelle. We really do appreciate what you've done. You've improved our community. We do have another honor to award today. This prestigious award recognizes citizens for sustained service to the community. Established in 1984, the Tarn City Council presents this award to citizens who have served the community continuously throughout their lifetime of leadership and dedication. Past recipients include former elected officials, including Mayor D. Hardison, and appointed officials like former city manager, Leroy J. Jackson, and exceptional community leaders who have served our community generously over the years. Our honoree has spent over 65 years serving the city of Torrance in multiple capacities, as you well know. His love and admiration for our community is genuine and deeply appreciated. Tonight, it is my pleasure to recognize Gerald T. Ronan as the recipient of the Jared Sidney Torrance Award Unfortunately, Jerry could not join us today, but I'd love to share a little bit about this lifelong public servant. I did have a telephone conversation with him earlier today, and uh, the humble guy that he is, uh, he just pointed out that so many other people are, are so deserving. Um, but he ended our conversation with uh, statement. He said, God bless you, Mayor, and God bless the city of Torrance. And that's just the way Jerry Ronan is. Before even setting foot in Torrance, Jerry always understood the meaning of service and dedication. After growing up in South Dakota, Jerry joined the Navy in 1944, which was the beginning of his many years of service. 
Following his tour of duty, Jerry's lifelong career would begin in South Dakota as a school teacher. But after one year, the bright lights of the big city came calling. Big city meaning Torrance. And South Dakota, what do you expect? <laughs> in September of 1955, Jerry would start teaching history and English at Torrance High School. He would also take on the role of guidance counselor during his tenure at the school. And then after 37 years of teaching, Mr. Ronan decided to retire, but retirement for Jerry was boring and his itch for service could not be satisfied in retirement. So Jerry continued to give back to the community through volunteering and civic engagement. He served two years as Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation's president and has been a friend of the Torrance Theater Company for more than 15 years. His own talents include jewelry making, needlepoint, painting, poetry, and photography, just to name a couple. Jerry would continue his civic engagement by joining the Torrance Historical Society and spearheading the Names on the Wall project. This project led to the creation of the Veterans Memorial located at Maple Avenue and Torrance Boulevard. There are currently 146 names on the wall dedicated to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice and lost their lives during time of war and who were members of our community. With the help of Jerry Ronan's leadership, those heroes will never be forgotten in our city. In addition to his time at the Torrance Historical Society, Jerry also served as president of the Torrance Cultural Arts Center Foundation. And then while his first job was that of a teacher, he always wanted to be an artist. His love for the arts runs deep. But this is not the only organization that he has joined since retiring. He joined the old Torrance Neighborhood Association and even served as the secretary from 2010 to 2011. Furthermore, Jerry has spent many years as a member of the Students and Government Day Selection Committee. Each year, Jerry, along with his colleagues on the committee, read more than 1,000 essays submitted by eighth graders in our city who wanted to spend a day shadowing a, civ a city official. His service to the youth of our community never wavered even into retirement. For all the ways Jerry Ronan has made Torrance a better place to live, work, and play, on behalf of the city of Torrance, I am honored to present him with the Jared Sidney Torrance Award. Tonight, accepting on his behalf are two longtime members of the Torrance Historical Society, both previous recipients of the Jared Sidney Torrance Award, Ms. Janet Payne and Debbie Hayes. I'd like you to join me up here. She wants to be up here. Come on up here. It's a nice view. Huh? You can see the clock. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That was a really nice batch of stuff to hear about somebody. Um, it is the Jared Sidney Torrance Award, and just recently we were doing a history through leadership program for a, a civic organization and I pulled out a book about Jared Sidney Torrance and I want to see if you see a parallel. This was written as a foreword in the book that he did about his family genealogy. It's an amazing book with an amazing foreword by a friend of his and it goes on to say um, he was a man whose presence was eagerly sought because it radiated life at its very best. He was a true philanthropist in every way and gave his time and counsel through all the years and things that he did. To know him and to be in his presence was always a privilege and an inspiration to good works, continuing the uplifting of the community in all things that he did. He was a man of great force and personal charm, one who could always grasp large affairs and showed unusual wisdom and optimism. As busy as he was, he always had time for the small matters that would help the other man or woman. A strong personality was Sidney, with a spirit of optimism and cheerfulness 
great personal magnetism and charm. There would only be one word I would change in that, and that was, was Jared Sidney Torrance and is Jerry Ronan. I consider it a gift every day that he was my friend, and I'm honored to accept this award with Debbie Hayes on behalf of Jerry and all of you out in the audience. I just was going to add one thing which ties into which what Janet just read, but Jerry has always lived alone by choice, but he has never ever been lonely, and it's because of his personality, and he's a true renaissance man, so everyone always kind of clamors to be around Jerry and is always excited if he's going to be the one accompanying them to the show or to dinner or even picking up trash in the hood. You know, he did it all. So I just want to thank you again for being here in his honor. And as the mayor said, he had the privilege of spilling the beans today to Jerry before we got here that he was going to be the recipient of this award, which is the city's highest award, as the mayor said, that can be bestowed on someone. And Jerry is very, very deserving and appreciative. Thank you. Now, if uh, we could go down here and let my colleagues come up here and uh, ask uh, all the friends to come up here as well so we can get a photograph of everybody. This way we can uh, share it.